Hey guys, this is Dustin with Blast Away the Game Review. I'm here today with Greg who is operating the camera for me. Today we are unboxing the Halo 5 console. As you can tell, it comes very, very neatly packaged. On the other side, they of course have the artwork they've been displaying for quite some time since the game got announced. But outside of just the console, we picked up the Halo 5 controller for the Master Chief Edition. So we have both controllers for the Xbox. A play and charge kit where we don't eat through batteries, which unfortunately does happen with the Xbox One. And three months of Xbox Live Gold. However, I know many of you have probably already seen unboxing videos. You already know the console comes with a 14 day trial membership, which is nice. You can add that onto this. But we also know this console comes with some little goodies, which is what we're going to get to now. One thing you might need when opening this, it is taped on one side, so you're going to want to get something dancingly sharp. I suggest being careful so you don't cut yourself. And as you can tell, we haven't even opened this yet. We haven't done test runs, nothing. This is, you're seeing it as I'm seeing it. The one nice thing about Microsoft's packaging of this console, it's very sturdy, but this thing is extremely heavy. Inside of this, you can see everything is very nicely housed. We have the Spart Mock controller. As you can tell with the detail on it, let alone have they gone through the Halo universe and integrated into it, we actually see small details from his armor itself. We have the mesh here, the mesh over here, the blues, the silvers, the colors are all one color, which gives it a very uniform look. The controller itself handles very, very nicely. On the smaller details, as you can see as I bring the controller towards Greg, is they've added the UNSC logo, but on the side, they've also added more little details. Inside this boxing, you also get a nifty little pack of AA batteries, which will be very useful for those of you who decide to skip the play and charge route. Now, let alone does the console come with a nifty little deal. For those of you who are all about limited edition armor pieces, you get a limited edition armor set just for you, meaning no one else can get this, just you. We also get, as you know, limited edition got a very nice little case. We've gotten one just like it, which looks, honestly, like it's meant to go to Spartan Lock or his team members, maybe even Chief himself. Inside of this, let's open it up and see what's in here. We get a Halo 5 limited edition code, meaning everything you've heard, this is a limited edition game. It's not your default. The 14-day Xbox Live trial membership, which we will gladly give to one of you if you need it. Spartan Locks, I'm guessing it says here, operation order. So I'm guessing confidential information from the UNSC and other people for... Oh, it looks like his team, actually. In here, I'm not going to open this little nifty thing. I have seen what this is. If you want to, we can link to IGN's video down at the bottom. If they actually have this opened up. This has the dossier for every Spartan member for Osiris and Blue Team. So that's the nifty little thing for those of you who like opening this stuff. We also got... Let's see what this little bugger is. A Metal Earth 3D laser cut model of a Guardian. As you see, it is metal. It's going to be sharp. It says here you will need... Well, let's find out. You will need pliers. Apparently pliers are going to be a big deal, so be careful doing this. I'm going to guess lots of sharp little parts to cut yourself with. So definitely be careful doing this. In this bundle, it's pretty nifty. Only problem is, if you have to do the exchange, if Microsoft does it for you, there's no disc holder, so we're assuming they're going to probably send you a new case and all. So let's put this stuff up, and we will get down to one of the parts I'm honestly most excited about, which is the console itself. They do have this very nicely boxed. In this housing up here, they have they actually give you a headset so you don't have to rush out and buy one. 
I still recommend, if you don't want to go through it, definitely go buy your own. You have the power cord, power brick, and free little HDMI cables, so that takes the hassle off your shopping list as well. I still personally suggest getting HDMI cables that are not the stock. I always go for the higher end for the better video audio qualities. But here is the fun part. Here we have a very, very, a very nicely boxed console. It is actually very secure in here, so you've got it shipped. You don't have to worry about any bumps, bends, breaks. But something that is unique, I've bought enough consoles that I'm actually astonished by this. This Xbox One that they have is snug in here, so it will be a bit of a work. It is the fact, unlike other consoles, it's not wrapped in white foam, which is very well trademarked across consoles and everything. So we're going to get rid of this box. As you can tell, I just threw it on the ground. But luckily, nothing's in there. They've actually made this pretty snug, which is nice, especially with it having shipped. I'm trying not to tear this in case anything goes wrong and I have to exchange the console or anything like that, hardware-wise. There is quite a bit of tape. They do give you some protective paper in here, I guess that's to keep from smearing and debris to get inside. But, they've actually carefully covered this console up, let alone did they put the black foam on it. They have put white paper. Here's the thing I know a lot of us wanted to see was, what kind of detail would 343 and Microsoft go through to make this console so special? To be honest, this is actually one of the nicest Halo consoles I've ever seen. It has details that look like it was created in the Halo universe. Up here, we have all sorts of nifty little things. We have, you can tell where they've made it have the Spartan lock look. Right here, I'm actually going to have to get a little light for you to see. But, they have put a mesh right in here along with little markings that look like they belong on Spartan armor. Now, the even nicer thing I've noticed, and I've noticed this after they showed the reveal earlier this year for this console, is on the side of it, you have the same markings as you would on the Halo games. Up here, you even get, it looks like, possibly some Spartan numbers for their deployment or something of the sort. Overall, this console is very, very nicely made is, as I said, probably one of the most beautiful Xbox consoles I've seen, and I've seen quite a few. Now, with that shown off, let's talk hardware. Unlike your traditional Xboxes, you're not getting a 500 gig hard drive. You're getting a one terabyte internal storage memory. You're getting all these special little things to go with it. But one thing I do recommend when you're gaming, like I said, to save you some money, go with the play and charge kit. The batteries, I can't contest to how long they last. I have not used the Xbox One play and charge kit. I'm going to guess you're probably going to get between five and six hours battery life. The nice part is, if you're new to Xboxes, like I said earlier, you're going to need a knife. Um, you will be saving bills, but also it comes with a micro USB so you can take one off your controllers, you can take one off of your phones, whatever you use, phones, tablets, computers, what have you, and plug this directly in your console if you want to go the battery, look, the battery, you know, way with no batteries really is what I'm trying to say here. And you also get, as you see, it's just a little plan charge battery that has basically the shape of two AA batteries. So that's really nice. It's actually a big change from the old ones, which were rather encumbersome and large. Now, for those of you that have been curious about the controller, it's time to show you the Halo 5 Master Chief controller. 
the controller, much like Spartan Locks, is themed around the character's armor and color design. As you see, we have much of the same thing. We have the UNSC logo. All the buttons are non-colored. This is meshed like Chief's armor. The biggest difference I noticed, it does not have those symbols like on the Spartan Lock armor design. So we do not have that. The one thing we do have is on both sides, it has these little arrows, which is really nice. Just like the other one, you know, let me grab that so you can see them side by side. So we now can, as Microsoft would say, hunt the truth. In this box, just like previously, you get AA batteries to go with it, which as you know, I won't be using AA's in one of the controllers, which will be, for me, I'm on cheap team, so I'll be using Chiefs controller with my Xbox. In it, you also get this nifty little pamphlet tells you about the controllers. I'm guessing the characters as well. I haven't read over it. And then, from what I understand, you get requisition packs. Mine will be, I will be getting Chiefs Gold Visor as a free download, which is really nice for Microsoft. It shows that they're really going all out this time around. Overall, with this console, Microsoft, with Halo 5 being their flagship title for this year, this is a big deal. They've gone all out to ensure that the fans of the series will be getting what they hope for, which is nice. It's very nice. Since we have not sat down with this Xbox yet, we do not have the sounds, which we will actually include later on at a later date in a different video. But for now, you ha here's what you have with the Halo 5 console and both of the Halo 5 limited edition controllers. On the behalf of the Blast Away the Game Review team, I'd like to thank you for tuning in and stay tuned as we will have another video with the Halo 5 console sound effects and we will also have a review of Halo 5 starting the beginning of November. So stay tuned and thank you.